In just a few hours, a sentencing trial for the confessed Parkland school shooter is set to get underway in South Florida. Nicholas Cruz opened fire at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School on Valentine's Day 2018, killing 14 students and three staff members. The judge set aside three weeks for jury selection, which will begin this morning. Cruz pleaded guilty in October to 17 counts of murder, but a jury has to decide if he'll be put to death or receive a life sentence without parole. And that tragic shooting led state leaders to scrutinize school security. And this morning, we're breaking down some new changes that could be coming to your child's school. Taking a closer look at House Bill 1421 and how it's focusing on mental health to prevent tragedies in schools. It is waiting for Governor Ron DeSantis' signature. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott joining us live here in Tampa with more on this new push for more safety measures, Larissa. Well, James, this bill is another step forward in improving school security. Lawmakers say it's aimed at preventing school emergencies and requires school districts to have a more solid plan in place should one happen. We want your students to be safe. That's why Florida lawmakers and school safety advocates say House Bill 1421 is the necessary next step in strengthening school security. The bill extends the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Safety Commission to 2026. It was set to expire in 2023. The commission oversees the implementation of school safety measures and investigates system failures regarding school shootings while developing recommendations for improvements. We reached out to an expert from the National Association of School and Campus Police chiefs to get more insight on this legislation. Fundamentally, school districts want to do the things that need to be done to keep their children safe, their students safe. The bill will also work to improve mental health in schools and requires that school safety officers and certain employees complete mental health intervention training. School districts will have to adopt policies to establish threat assessment teams at each school to intervene if anyone shows behavior that poses a threat to school safety to help prevent potential tragedies. We want your students to be safe and I want we want you and them to feel safe. School security experts say one of the most significant things House Bill 1421 does is require school districts and law enforcement agencies to work together ahead of time to have a reunification plan in place for students and their families in case of a crisis. The trick is or the challenge is to get everybody to work together ahead of time. So instead of having three plans, you have one plan that everybody works off of. An expert from a technology company who works with schools and their security systems says House Bill 1421 will work well with legislation we already have in place. In passing the list as well in 2020 and implementing it in 2021, Florida equipped school districts with important panic alert systems that solve that aspect of emergency management. 1421 brings reunification to the table, which is the perfect complement for the, the panic alert systems mandated by Alyssa's as well. Experts say the reunification process is very complex, potentially dealing with thousands of students and their parents. Having this nailed down will be crucial to safety. You cannot be victimized by human trafficking, parental abductions, child abductions, because there are folks out there that will try to exploit you know, the, the catastrophic event that you're dealing with. And we will, of course, continue to keep you updated on the progress of this bill on ABCActionNews.com. For now, I'm live in Tampa this morning. Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.